This is the Muddy Boots Podcast, a podcast for those who have been or are stuck in the mud. Building a community of those who are with each other all the way. Hello, welcome to the Muddy Boots Podcast. I am Matt. And I am Roger. And we're your hosts today. Uh, we're back in action. I'm excited about today. Yeah, I am too. We're only really am. we're really close to St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And I love St. Patrick's Day. We're going to get into that a little bit today. My sister was born on St. Patrick's Day. On, on St. Patrick's Day? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. So she shares a birthday with the celebration of St. Patrick? Yeah. Right on. Yeah. She Is, died. Okay. We're doing this. This is how we're going to start. She did. Well, I know. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's how we're starting this podcast. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, I had a vacation. Yes, you did. Uh, me and my wife went to Vegas mm-hmm. for three three whole days without the kids. Mm-hmm. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling refreshed. She was 55 when she died. I'm talking... Okay. We've transitioned out. Yeah. My dad was 54 when he died. Okay. So you and you and Sarah had <laughs> yeah, a great we, weekend. Yes. We had a great weekend. We were in Vegas. We yeah. didn't win any money. Okay. But we went to see uh, Michael Jackson 1, the Cirque du Soleil show. Uh-huh. Have you ever been to a Cirque du Soleil? Yes. They're, in, they're incredible. I don't know how they don't kill themselves. I don't, I don't either. I'm it's, serious. I mean, how I do they do that without dying? I don't know. Because like, they don't, it's not like they do it once and call it a day. They do it over and right. over. I mean, And in Vegas, they do it twice a night, all mm-hmm. of these shows. They have like five different... Yeah. Uh, different shows at different hotels. Yeah. And they do it twice a night, every day, every day. <laughs> like as a residency. I don't even, I don't know. How do you do that? But they're, they're the most incredible aerialists and acrobats. And I know. I know. Like, I'm like. The songs, the artistry. Yeah, the yeah. Anyway. Just a choreography. Yeah. I know. One of the coolest things we've ever seen. We, we walked out of it just, you know, the magic of like best show we've ever been to. Uh, we ate at Gordon Ramsay's steak. So you must make more money than I do. Listen, I don't want you to be fooled by the fact that we when we had a free hotel. We had uh-huh. someone gift us the, uh-huh. yeah. Uh, did they gift you the steak too? They didn't gift us the steak, but uh-huh. I saved some money to be able oh. to go. It was our anniversary trip. Oh. They so were having an interesting dialogue. I'm just telling you what my weekend was like, and I had a great weekend. Yeah. And you're grilling me about the kind of money that I make. I know. I, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. I think I'm in a place. Are you? Yeah. I don't know why. Well, what kind of place are you in, Roger? I, like anxiety or something. Okay. Okay. I don't know why. Is it because you wanted to go to Vegas? No. Okay. No, I didn't want to go to Vegas. Is it because there's just a lot going on at the Y? Could be. Okay. It could be that. I bet that's what it is. Could be. Could be. I just I hadn't thought about it lately, and then you said St. Patrick's Day, and I thought about my sister, and it okay. sent me into a place. Um, I don't know. So yeah. what – so, okay. Well, let's pause for a second. Take a breath. Take okay, a we've breath. Okay, we've got the – we've got my anniversary out of the way. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we do. So let's – is there? A, do, do you need to process anything about St. Patrick's Day with your sister, with me right now? I don't know. You know, when uh, when she was young, we used to have to march around the table before we ate the cake. Okay. Because she had a March birthday. <laughs> was I know. this something your parents came up with? No, she did. She did? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's As pretty, a five-year-old, she didn't really understand that's the months. Hilarious. But she just thought. Okay, so you'd march around the cake. Yeah. Because they're... It was a March, March. M- March birthday. Did she do anything like with green? With green because it was St. Patrick's Day. Not or was, until she was older, yeah. and then she did. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did yeah. she like that her birthday was? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's very talented. Okay. Talented pianist. Okay. I said pianist. With um, it's. <laughs> yeah, we heard it. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> the mics are good. They're not. It's not like you know low quality audio. We heard the right word. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, one of the things I guess what always bothered me was because she was dying of cancer. <clears throat> okay. And uh, 
she was in a home because she's dying of cancer and she she had some mental illness and whatnot that uh disrupted her life and okay and uh so the only person she would talk to was me she was a I mean, she's a beautiful woman. She was a homecoming queen at University of Wyoming. She was a cheerleader, you know. Yeah. Um, so through her life, her looks were very important to her. And, okay. they, and she got to the point where she didn't want anybody to see her in the state she was, right? Tapes. Yeah. Even at the end, tapes. And uh, so I was calling her. Well, And she called me one time, and I was in a meeting. So I didn't take the call. So I called her back after the meeting, but the receptionist in the hospital, for some reason, decided I wasn't allowed to talk to her. The receptionist decided yeah, that? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And even though we'd been talking back and forth, I called, you know, this was, a, I don't know, a new receptionist, whatever, um, kept spouting off HIPAA, da 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 okay. da 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 and then the next morning, that same receptionist called me and told me my s- sister had died. Oh, wow. That night. And I was a bit upset. Yeah. All right? Because you tried. You tried oh, to reach yeah. out and yeah, talk oh, yeah, to yeah. Well, the hospital was really worried that I was going to sue them because they all of a sudden I was getting calls from everybody under the sun. I'll bet apologizing, how can we make this right, da, 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 right. you know. But, yeah, so anytime, you know, now it kind of puts me in a spot. Gotcha. It takes me a minute to get out of it. Yeah, well, that's, so why we, that's why we talked a little bit about it. I know. That's why we're here, so. I know. It's kind of funny. I had a friend drop this off. Okay. A friend of ours? Like a, a, well, a uh, he, he works at the Y. Okay. Or he doesn't work. He's a member of the Y. Goes to your church now. Okay. Um, so, and I don't know, he just, he decided to drop it off and well, that's cool. Like and, a, a gift to us. Uh, yeah. He goes, Muddy boots, but yeah. And, and it's kind of funny cause I wasn't planning this with my sister or anything else, but it says, uh, ideal survival gifts for hikers. Okay. During any emergency situation where you feel stuck or forget the way this metal compass can turn out to be a savior to make you out of Depth. Hmm. So it's like I was kind of stuck just a couple seconds ago with my sister. <laughs> right. I was blowing up your weekend with it. Which is fine because we're friends and we love each other and yeah. that doesn't matter. What yeah. matters is that we're okay. Yeah. And so we stopped and talked about that. Yeah. Maybe you should open this. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Let's find out. I know. Okay, so this is. Uh, do we want to name the person, or do we want to leave leave them anonymous? We can call or did him, they care? I don't know. Jack, call him Jack. <laughs> okay. The running joke with him is, I I say, what do you? What, what's one thing you can't do at the airport? <clears throat> say hi, Jack. <sighs> um, so this easy. is a this is a two two in one design. Can buy, it's a compass. That's what it says. I, I can't see it. It's in a box. Uh, I'm just trying to I'm trying to create a little bit of anticipation here. Okay. Like a Heinz ketchup commercial. Something like that. And uh, making me wait. Yeah, it it it's a compass and mountaineering buckle. Okay. So it can be hung on the belt mm-hmm. or bag with a carabiner. Mm-hmm. Uh, clip and key keychain. Please maintain it secure. Did he write this or did he just put this no, in? No, 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 no. He didn't write this. Oh, he. It, this is just the description of the actual thing. Yeah. And he just wanted to give this to us. Yeah, because he watched the Muddy Boots episodes and he was like, "This fits you guys." This fits you guys. Okay. It's high quality material. Okay, you're you're done with this. That's fine. Let's let's open. Do you it up. really read instructions? No, it was. It's not instructions, Roger. This is a descriptor. Of what this is, and I wanted to get a good idea of what this is by reading what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so here Evidently, we go. Evidently, Matt's a little <laughs> upset with the Roger at the moment. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to, this will probably focus in. So I'm going to try to show you that and then show you this side. So the carabiner right here. 
Mm-hmm. So here's here's one for you. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you? Oh, do, it's got a temperature gauge on one side yeah. and a compass on the other. Can you show the this camera just in case this one didn't it got all funky and didn't want to? Um, I'm going to turn it around. Okay, so what's the see. temperature that yours says? Seventy one ish, probably. Yeah, seventy two, maybe. Yeah, it's all. It's also got Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Celsius on it. And then the compass itself. Oh, you got to turn the compass this way to make it work. Which way? Uh, flat. Just flat in general. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. North is this way. Yeah. Awesome. What and happens if I put it? Nothing. Which is true, right? North is that way. That's not that way because that's south. This is cool. That is kind of cool. Thank, thank you, you, Jack. Yeah, thank you, Jack. Wow, this is really cool. Hi, hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> uh, so, so compasses are cool. Compasses are are cool. I like a compass. Gives you um, direction. Yeah. So, how does this when when you're talking about being stuck, right? Yeah. Just even in a in a minute. I mean, last moment, like just a few moments ago, mm-hmm. I should say. Um. So two things uh, to get out of something like that. Um, you know, obviously we stopped our conversation mid pot, which is kind of funny, right? Like this is what this podcast is, yeah. but like that wasn't just, that was no, not planned. I, no, I was ta- absolutely not planned. I was, I was excited about St. Patrick's day. I was mm-hmm. wanting to talk about my vacation and you had a moment. Mm-hmm. And so we stopped the podcast essentially without like stopping it. Right. We just stopped what we were doing and went into and something else. Took care, you took care of me. So how important is that? It was awesome. Why don't we do that more often in life? Um, honestly, because what it took was for you to see me mm. to do that. Most of the time, people are myopic. They can't see past the nose on their face. They just want to talk about their stuff. Right. Right. That's true. Yeah. Most people aren't in a conversation. They're just waiting for their turn to talk. Hmm. And uh, it's sad. I think we see it all the time, actually. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, and I, we experience it. I experience it all the time where I'm, you know, crying out for help in a way, right? In a sense, I'm trying to get somebody to hear me. Yeah. But it seems like, no, not today. No. Not interested. No. Or they want to one-up you. Right. Oh, you think your day's bad? (laughs) That's ugly, man. I hate that. Oh, I know. (laughs) Right? Yes. Oh, my God. (laughs) It's the worst. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It's not going to get anyone anywhere. Like, how how is that helpful to any, any person? It isn't. It's just... I don't know what it, what kind of thing that is, but yeah. you know. But it's just you know. I'm, I'm going through a book study with uh, uh, Daily Bread for Ragamuffins. Okay, and uh, you know I, that's what started my pot or my pot my 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 blog back in 2006. So I've been doing it a while. You yeah. know, um, I would say actually that my book is probably as marked up as any Bible I ever had go, going through it with stuff. The book you're referring to is... is the Daily... Or the Ragamuffin, Ragamuffin Gospel. Gospel. Yeah. Because uh, there's so many people that are just ragamuffins. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and it's it's so hard to sit with people and then... Have somebody that just blows them off. Right. I had a conversation this morning with a person said, "Thank you for not blowing me off." Mm. Literally, you know, just I was l- actually listened to them. <laughs> right, and they couldn't believe it. Yeah, it's like, oh my yeah. gosh. I mean, why does that have to be so rare? Yeah, I don't know. I wish it wasn't. I know. I wish I know. it wasn't. And I mean, so. If you're a good listener, great. If you're if you're out there not listening, stop it and start listening. Mm-hmm. If you want people to listen to you, you should listen to them. 
Yeah. It's true. Yeah. So you know what this makes me think of is... Um, so, you know, have you ever been... I'm sort of directionally challenged. I don't know about you. But, like, if I'm if I'm driving down the road, I'm not 100% sure all the time where north, south, east, or west are. Mm. I don't know if you're better at it um, than me. I grew up in the country. Okay. And then so then yeah, I became you, a navigator in the Navy. Oh, yeah. But the thing of it is, is as long as I've got open space, uh-huh. I can really tell which way north, south, east, and west is. Um because it's very simple. The sun goes from the east to the west. Sure. Right? The moon goes. Okay. Yeah. At night, you've got the North Star. I mean, you. we've got all this stuff. Ways to point us in the right direction. Ways to point us in. But, but if, like, if I'm in New York City. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, See. it's it's a little bit weird. Yeah, huh? So I don't know. So let me uh, finish my metaphor before you go on to your metaphor, if that's all right. Well, you asked. I know. I just said I was directionally challenged. I don't know if you are. <laughs> and you said you're not, which yeah. is great. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. My point is uh, because I'm directionally challenged, I actually need something to point which way was north. So like I thought kind of based on – where I'm at in this room, that North was like that way. Okay. 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 Well, the truth is, is that North is actually more that way. way. Yeah. Um, But I needed something to help me navigate where North is, some sort of the the actual truth of where North is, not how I felt North North was. Yeah. Well, and that, you know, it's like with me, yeah, North is this way, but for me, I thought... You know, I was off by a few, right? Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I'm, I don't know if we talked about this before or not, but when I was in the Navy, I would I would make, uh, say we were going from Hong Kong to San Diego. Okay. I would draw a line on a big map. And that line was called the PIM, Proposed Intended Movement. Okay? Okay. And then I would put a direction on that. Say, I don't know, maybe... 38 degrees. Okay. okay. Just, we're going that way. Going from Hong Kong to San Diego. Um, if I was off by one degree, by the time I got to where I thought San Diego was and crossed the Pacific Ocean, mm-hmm. I'd have ended up in Ecuador. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. It's quite the difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, so my point being is... If you're off by just a little bit yeah. and you continually go and you don't ever correct yourself, mm. you're going to be off by a lot. Right. You know? And that's where a compass can come in handy. Yeah. Keeping you on track. So what are some good compasses in life? Well, you know, with my worldview. Well... Yeah, I mean, we got to talk about our. That's always our our honest, right? We, yeah, I mean, you we know, we talk about our yeah, worldview. Te- taught we worldviews in college, right? Yeah. So, yeah, my my particular worldview, Christianity, the Bible is a good compass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How am I doing? How am I? You know, um, another good compass for me, honestly, is like the ragamuffin gospel. Yeah. I mean, because just let's just face it. You know, you're doing a really good job of being okay, not okay, right? Mm -hmm. Being here before you believe that all of these things. So many times, and you know this is why we're at where we're at, so many churches is you better be perfect before you walk through the door. We're going to judge the snot out of you. Right? Right? Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It is. And and so that's why the ragamuffin gospel is so – because it – recalibrates what we've done to Jesus's words. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You know, uh, when we put our take on it, it's kind of like a, we were talking at one of the other podcasts about when I had cancer mm-hmm. and people were really upset that I wasn't upset. Yeah. Right? That I yeah. was okay. 
Well, it was they're throwing their stuff on me. They wanted me to be uh, more upset, so it made them feel more comfortable and better about themselves. Yeah. Than, than you know, because I made them uncomfortable. If I said, well, this is the way God chose to take me out, <laughs> let me go out well. Yeah. Right. And they were like, oh man, I don't, don't like say that. that. I don't yeah. Know what's wrong with you, buddy? You know. Um, so I mean, that's the thing is. When we're talking about grace, Mm -hmm. the grace that God puts on us, and that you can't get there all on your own. Right. Right? There's no way you can earn your way in. It's only through grace. We don't get that. We're still trying to figure out, you know, it's kind of like a punch card at a coffee shop. Oh, went to church today. Click it. Right? Yeah. Look at that, I do enough of my can I can skip a week. Get my free entry. I'll get my free week. I don't have to go this week. And it won't matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> we should do punch cards. Church punch cards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would they do with that? I don't even know what they Oh would. my I, god. If you just say, would you just, like a punch card? You're here. Oh, click click. Attendance card. Like uh, an attendance punch card. Yeah. You can take a week off. Look at that after 10. Oh, oh my, my lord! Okay, 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 okay. Sorry that we digress, but that was funny. Yeah. So back into yeah. Go ahead. No, no. You you were continuing with your story. So okay. back back into this idea of perfection, or you were yeah. talking about like needing to be perfect to walk into the church, or these expectations we put on ourselves. Yeah. And recalibrating back to what are the words of Jesus? Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing with with uh, that's what I mean by we were getting off track. Here, here. Oh yeah. Here's we the were. words of jo- Jesus, and here's. Where somebody tells us, right? Well, we we did this just now with the church punch card. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I know it's a little unholy and sanctimonious, but one of the <clears throat> things that I always like to make fun of the Baptists is, is, you know, they don't want you to have sex standing up because it might lead to dancing, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah. yeah. you know, there's all, all of these things that uh, we didn't realize we put on it until the first great awakening and the second great awakening happened and we integrated all of that stuff right. into our spirituality yeah you know like the 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 hymn wars right mhm it's like wait a minute we can't have we can't have modern music in our church we got to sing the, the spiritual hymns. hymns well charles wesley pulled those from the taverns exactly. in the 17th century for god's sake those were the you know i love i love that story oh my goodness gracious yeah, yeah but we've forgotten about it yeah and all of a sudden you know we have short memories oh right? yeah and and our perspective is i know yeah so i mean talk about getting off track mm-hmm. big stuff little stuff right you know yeah, and so I mean, yeah, yeah, we that, do that in life so often. Just in ge- like that's that's a faith journey. That's even that's that's with faith. Yeah. But even in our lives, we do that, right? A lot of, a lot of people. We had a plan. Yeah. When we graduated high school, we went into college, oh, or went yeah. into the military, yeah, yeah. or went, or or whatever. You yeah. know, we we had a plan. We had a trajectory, if you will. Yeah. Had it had the straight line mapped out to yeah, black and destination. white, black and white too, wasn't it? <laughs> straight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, life happens because life happens when you're busy planning life. Right. I teach in an adult adult degree completion program is where I started with all of this stuff, and. Uh, Here's a bunch of people. Remember, adult degree completion. The name says it all. Yes, it does. You started in college, and for whatever reason, you didn't finish. Later on, as an as a older adult, you're coming back to finish what you started. You started. What happened to make you not, right? And it, yeah. there's everything under the sun. Right. It's like you Luke can, going back to Yoda in Return of the Jedi. Yes. He pro- he made a pro- he had a promise to keep. He had a promise to, to keep. an old friend. Yes, right. And there is no try. And There's he either he, do or don't do. But there was a lot that happened in the middle there. He found out Darth Vader was his father. Yeah. You know, there's a lot a lot yeah. of uh, got his arm chopped off. And yeah, yeah. I know, there is You're a lot right. of life happened in between his training from Yoda in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, and his training from Yoda in Return of the Jedi. Yes. 
but he did go back and complete his training. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch both those movies. Okay, anyway, then. so that that's just for all the Star Wars fans out there. Whoop, I, whoop. I, I thought I would help help them out. But again, we got sidetracked. So back to the task at hand, navigating our lives. Yes. So when stuff happens, sometimes we need people, faith, whatever it might be to get ourselves back to right. north, right? Right, and that's the other part. Yeah, you know, it's accountability partners, having a good friend, mm -hmm. you know, me and Tyler talking about that stuff, right? And and yeah. um, just going on this, all of these things. Uh, yeah, you need people in your life. Yeah, that that can speak truth to your life with love, right? Not just pound on you, but or shame you or whatever, coerce you or manipulate you, yeah. but actually speak truth into your life with love, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's why counseling's good. That's why. Um, Chaplaincy is amazing. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's part yeah. of that's part of the chaplaincy walking alongside people yeah, absolutely. who have gotten stuck somewhere yeah. or gone off track of what they thought their life would be. And I mean, this is the, let's be honest, right? This conversation is all of us. There's never none of us are going to chart a course to one destination and make it there without yeah. any sort in, of in navigational terms. You've got. You've got m drift, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so because here, when I would chart that course to San Diego, you know how often I was on that PIM? Seldom. Yeah. Because there was currents, there was waves, there was wind. There was all of these things that were causing even, even the fact that the way the screw turned would push you one way. Um, yeah. Probably even so, the weight of the weight of like how people were moving on the ship. I mean, you, know, you just, you know, you're always doing this. Yeah. You never really, and that my goal was to make it to where nobody ever noticed. You didn't just go, er, er, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> they didn't even know, right? Right. And so I always said, I never want to throw somebody off the bow. They're just, you're just making these incremental little adjustments all the time, kind of right. like driving a car down a straight road. If you never turn a steering wheel, you're going to end up in the ditch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You will. You're making incremental adjustments. Same thing with this. Same thing with going through your life. Yeah. Is you can choose to ignore something. Mm. Right? Yeah. You can that's choose good. to ignore something. And you're going to go farther and farther, farther off path. But if you can stay right here. Yeah. And I talk about that, right? I say, I've ripped the rearview mirror off. The past is dead and gone. So why are we why are we sitting there beating ourselves up over something in the past? Right. Right? Let's work through that and, and turn an o a open wound into a scar anyway. Yeah. Okay? The far future is nothing more than a mirage. You don't know what's going to happen. You have no idea. You can see something you might... The only thing you have is the present. Live in the moment. Yeah. Live there. It's Don't true. be doing your dishes and not doing your dishes because you're actually thinking about the laundry. Right. Right? When you're doing the dishes, you're washing Christ's dish. Yeah. When you're doing the laundry, you're washing Christ's clothing. Be present to the moment. Yeah. No, that's really, really good. And that's a hard thing for us to do, I think, in the noise of this world right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so much distraction. Like, yeah. there's so, I, I mean, we're all constantly thinking about the next thing or the future thing. Or, or we're complaining about something. Area of influence, scope of control. Yeah. How much influence do I really have over who's running for president? <laughs> huh? Probably a donut. A donut. <laughs> Scope of control. Can yeah. I control any of that? Yeah. Why am I busy complaining about it? Yeah. That's true. Why? To create stress, anxiety, yeah. madness. Yeah. If you anger. like one over the other, vote for that one. If you don't like either one, vote for somebody else. Yeah. Why? I mean, I get tired of the noise. Yeah. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. So one thing you alluded to just a couple minutes ago you were talking about was 
um, if you choose to ignore something, that really stuck out to me. Yeah. So part part of navigating life is dealing with may, I, whatever we want to call it, the bumps in the road or the ditches that we what whatever it might be. I don't know. We can take the metaphor to whatever. places doesn't it? Let's not the struggles of life, the things that come up, the you know the the child that's not doing well or the parent that you're parenting or the, you know, like on and on we could go of the different things we go through in life, the diagnosis that you didn't expect, the phone call that you didn't want, all those things. We can choose to either ignore those things and probably wind up in a ditch or deal with those things and start to make those incremental shifts, right? in our trajectory because they're going to come. They're going to come. Yeah. So that's what, I mean, again, we harp on this all the time, but that's why we stop in a moment and say, let's talk about that. Let's not just skip over it because we easily could have just said, okay, well, we'll talk about that later. Right. And probably forgotten about it. Good. Yeah. I mean, it, there, oh, yeah. no, there's a high right. possibility. I've got a lot of stuff to tear down afterwards. Sure. I've got, you know, my mind's on the next thing I'm doing. Yeah. Um, there's a high probability that if we hadn't dealt with it in, in the moment, I would have, uh, you know, not like maliciously, but just probably forgotten that that, that was a thing that you were dealing with, with, you know, the grief of your, of your sister mm-hmm. in that moment, in that particular in that moment. moment. Mm-hmm. Instead, we decided... Let's dive in. Yeah. If that becomes the podcast, that becomes the podcast. Exactly. <laughs> right? But we're going to choose to not ignore that thing. Yep. Which would have probably made... We would probably be talking about different things in this podcast even right now. Oh, because absolutely. Because you'd still well, be in that place, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, the thing of it is, is, and this is what I love about this, is this is not scripted. I don't know if people think you know about that. This is, I have no idea what you're going to ask me before. Right. You know, and I, I appreciate that. Um, yeah. And so here you start, and you brought something up, and I came back with, with my sister died. Right. Right? And we stopped what we were doing. Yeah. And we went right into it. And it took a little while to get there. Yeah. It wasn't an immediate thing. At first, yeah. I didn't know if you were joking or whatever. So, you know, we're kind of going back and forth. But then you, if you're really, I guess that's, that. maybe that's part of it, is if you're really listening. There you go. What can start out as, oh, this is just a banter, banter. session. Because we do that all the time, right? Right. Oh, yeah. And then, but but then like if it, but there's something that, that shifts if you're really listening to somebody, really seeing somebody where there's a shift that happens and you're like, no, there's, this is, there's more to this than just that. But it takes intentional time yeah, and seeing people. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things with the YMCA is we really work hard on seeing you. Yeah. Right. If you're not here, we'll call you. If, I mean, you can't walk in this building without somebody yelling, hey, Bob, hey, Jim, hey, Sally, hey, happy birthday, or right. whatever, <laughs> right? I mean, boom, you're seen. Right. And so I think that's a, that's a positive in our community, I think. Oh, absolutely. Because most places you don't get that. Mm-hmm. And, that and that includes most of ev- people's everyday life. Everyday life. They go home, they're not even seen at home. Right. That's a sad, that's sad. Oh, yeah. We work with kids all the time. Yeah. You know, we, that's why we teach beyond behaviors, right? Yeah. We see a behavior, most people will react to that behavior. We want to know what was the lying, underlying cause to that behavior that made them do that. Yeah. And we work with that. Yeah. I mean, that's not easy. No, it's not easy. But we do that. I mean, you want to you want to look at a little difference between us and somebody else. That's what we do. Yeah, you know, it's pretty beautiful. I think so. Well, thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Jack really uh, helped facilitate our conversation today. It did oh look, um, temperature went up. It did. No, oh, that's uh, impressive. Jack, if you want to be known as by your real name. <laughs> 
<laughs> just let us know in the comments section. You can just say I'm the one. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it's cool that that even uh, that people are. I don't know they're thinking about this kind of stuff. I know. It, I it, mean, this is just floors me that somebody would take the time to go, hey, this reminded me of the podcast. And I want to give it to you. Walking along or searching Amazon or whatever. Yeah. They're well, like, it's kind of like my book, remember? And I thought, man, what a silly little thing they had me write. And then all of a sudden, people started to contact my wife and me, they want to come out and sit with the author. <laughs> right. And I'm like, okay, I got a library that's got like a thousand books in it. You've seen it. Yeah, you know? it's huge. And and there's a thing that I have in my library. It's nothing goes on the shelf that I haven't read. Right. So even if it's a horrible book, I have to read it through because I made the rule. You know, out of all those books, out of all those things, I never thought, Man, I should just call up the author. I'm going to look up that person's contact info, find out where they are, and give them a call and say, "Hey, I just want to sit with you." You know, that's true. I, that, now that you bring that up, that's that's 100 percent true. I've never thought that either. No, I mean, I th- I've maybe thought, "Oh, it'd be cool if someday." But to actually I'm, go through with it. No, no. I Even mean, Bob Bob Goff, who put his number in the back of his book, I never text that number. No. It was right Uh, there. Believe me, I didn't put any... They had to figure out, oh, because it's this chaplain of the YMCA, they had to find me through the Y. They had to do a little bit of investigation to find out where... (sighs) And they actually did. They came out. There's this other book. We had some people come out to the house. One guy was dying of brain cancer. He just wanted to watch me and Abe do the river with Cheetos because that that was cool. Wow. I know. But... So I, I don't get it. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, in some ways I do, but it, yeah, it's 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 cool. It's cool. Yeah, I'll just say it's it's cool that it's that, cool that he, did, he that he thought, thought of it. us. Yeah, and me too. I'm gonna throw this puppy on my keychain. That's me pretty too. Cool. This is going. This may actually, you know, where this might end up. Where's that? On my life jacket. Oh, that's a that's from my canoe. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'll put it on my uh, on my back. So on my my bag for. My equipment. Yeah. And it'll just stay there. Yeah. And I'll know the temperature. I like it. So this thank is cool. you, Jack. Yeah, thank you, Jack. Appreciate, Appreciate that. It. Um so yeah, we're getting more merch, more stuff. We're just we're having fun. It is. We got uh we're gonna get little cards with the QR code. We've got more of your sweatshirts, we've got mud skipper t shirts coming. Mm-hmm. Uh somebody's got a jacket idea they wanna okay. do. Um golly. we just need to get the word out. Yeah, you know, help more, us. Yeah, help more and more people. Help us. Help us. Yep. Share it if out. You, if you like this, share it with your friends. Yeah. It's we're important to help stuff. People. Important stuff we're it's talking about. It's not about us. No. It's it, not about yeah, us. Yeah. It's it's just we want people to feel seen, valued, and loved. And that's yeah. you know, that that takes time and effort and we're here for it. Yeah. So um yeah, we appreciate you for, you know, I, there's some of you who have been around since stuff. episode one. Yeah. And yeah. uh, we appreciate you. I think this is yeah. probably an episode one person. I'm guessing yeah, because yeah. they took the time. So, time. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you on the next one. The next one's going to be really exciting. Uh, we have a, a special guest. And, he is uh, special. He is special. Um, and you're you're going to recognize him. So yes. Also, I did want to. Can I do a shot? Can I do a shameless plug? Yeah. So St. Patrick's Day, we talked about, started that out. Yep. Um, at Rhapsody Church, we meet here in the Clark County Family YMCA. Yes. Uh, we are celebrating that day together because it's on a Sunday, St. Patrick's Day this year, the 17th of March, which is this coming Sunday. Uh, we will, we were going to have some food, some Irish foods that you can sample, and we're going to actually talk about St. Patrick. And nice. Yeah, we're going to talk about the the true story of how when he brought the gospel to Ireland and some of the ways that he set up communities right. that where people could belong before they believe, which is right. our motto exactly. at Rhapsody. So, yeah, so we're we're stoked about that. So come uh join us on that morning. It'll, it'll be a good morning. It, it will invite be invite friends and family. Yep. Yep. Um and yeah, we just love to love to see you there. Yeah. So Thank you everybody. Yeah, have a great great week. Yeah.